Okay, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I am a technical architect. I will describe the story of lab management and test management. First, we go to the test center so we can add some configuration. As we can see here that if we go to the configuration, we will see configuration for Windows and configuration for browser. I add to uh, operating system like Ubuntu and Jolly Cloud. I add also Internet Explorer 9 and Firefox 4. It's just a test configuration, a just main to know to label your uh, configuration when you start using your test. And now go to the lab center and starting preparing my lab. So first, the first step is library second step is lab the third step is test setting so let's start by the first step library uh, as you know the library is configured uh, to uh, with a system center virtual machine manager library that we created when we configure uh, the lab management and then installing the system center virtual machine manager so we're starting here by code to virtual machine and templates and start importing templates from the library that existing on the system center virtual machine manager you start importing uh, machines as you need for example there will be templates for windows uh, uh, server 2008 r2 uh, windows 7 ultimate windows 7 professional windows 7 home and so on and so forth so we will start importing machines from these templates uh, you can also import virtual machine, not only templates existing on the library, because library will have virtual machine and templates. The also library can have environments. Uh, when you create environments, you can store them in the library as we will saw. So first, you, we will import some virtual machines from templates or from exact, uh, exactly our actual virtual machines. The second step is to go to the lab management. To start creating new environment or virtual environments we will start creating an environment that we will use to test so we can using this virtual environment from important uh, from imported uh, virtual machines and templates that we import from the libraries so we starting creating the virtual machine so we for example i can make uh, an environment uh, that has uh, windows server 2008 r2 as a web server and windows uh, uh, server 2008 as a database server and one uh, machine uh, as a windows 7 ultimate edition as a client and create environment and call this environment is first environment so i create the environment as needed after creating this environment this environment will be deployed to the Hyper-V uh, so the Hyper-V or the host of the System Center Virtual Machine Manager can put them and work with them I can also store these uh, environments on the library as we say that environments here will show the stored environment so I can store them in the uh, library that exists on System Center Virtual Machine Manager and then after I create we, uh, all environments that I need when I go to test settings uh, this is settings that I will use with the test plan so I will start to create new test settings I will create one for manual the role here will appear all roles that I will use in the environments so I will start choosing my role and after this I will start adding the information that I want to collect from each role for example I want to event log, I want to video recording and so on and so forth I have a manual test settings I will create another one but this time will be automated not manual but actually I can't create because there is no environment but suppose I will create one now the test setting is configured and the library and the environment so I will go to I will go to the home and start testing center and add new plan
and then go through the organize and start configuring the test configuration manager here I will start adding what is the configuration I will use for example we have here Windows 7 and IE8 so I can add a configuration for example the browser here so I add two configuration variables Firefox 4 and IE9 so I will go to create new test configuration manager uh, IE 9 and Windows 7 and save this configuration okay. after creating the configuration I will go to the plan the first thing I will configure the properties here I will use the test settings, the manual test settings and the environment that I created to run with manual tests here I will use the automated test settings and the environment that I created to use with automated tests here I will create the configuration that I want for example this and this and here I will assign those uh, you can use this filter to minimize the number of those that will appear or you can just modify save and start here as we can see we will see many goals and then assign the plan assigning the build so now we are assigning the build configure the settings and the configuration management so everything is okay now the plan is ready so we'll go to the content and start adding we will add two test suites one for automated and one test suite for manual we will start adding new requirement to every suite as needed in this plan this is the user stories okay I will add uh, new test cases here then to I will start adding the steps save and close so you will start creating your test cases for your requirements all test cases that will cover all the business needs after that we will go to the test to run this test we will only see the test cases that we create because we will not see the requirements that doesn't have test cases so we will go here and see this is a test cases for this requirement so I, I can go there and start to run you can also run by test suite so I can here and say run and when I run it will bring Microsoft test runner and starting collecting the information I want 